Greetings. This is an earthquake watch for January 5, 6 and 7. We've had a fairly fast start to 2011 with two very powerful earthquakes, a 7.0 in Argentina, followed up by a 7.1 in Chile. It appears that during the watch period we may be receiving one or two similar sized earthquakes. The GOES X-ray flux monitor is showing a little bit of signs of life right now and it appears that two very large coronal hole speed streams are about to be recorded in this monitor. So I do believe that we are coming up to a period where some significant earthquakes are possible and it's also worth noting that the solar winds are at fairly low levels. The Space Weather Prediction Center's information is advising us that it's going to be quiet for the next three days and that's fairly laughable when you consider that they advised us that January 1, 2 and 3 was also going to be quiet and we did receive two very strong earthquakes. We are limited with some imagery and I'm going to be going to the images that I have been using the last few videos and this is the Hanode XRT on solar monitor and we are looking at some significant coronal holes that are about to be heading our way or earth facing. It appears that we're just now into the this coronal hole region right here and that would indicate that we're not too far away from entering the very large coronal hole and that would be perhaps January, late January 4 and January 5 looks to be a very powerful coronal hole which may take a, a day or two to get through. The 174 angstrom shows it a little bit more clear and what we're looking at here is a very large coronal hole that's earth facing and it seems to be around 28 to 29 degrees north latitude and we do have a follow up and a very powerful event that I believe and that seems to be around about 22 degrees 22 to 24 degrees north latitude also. Here is a still of the stereo behind and we can see these two coronal holes that I'm focusing on. This is the most dangerous and we do have one that appears to be about three days later and this appears to be around the Indonesian region or around the equator but this is the area that I'm going to be focusing on in this earthquake watch. It's also worth noting that January 6 we have two planetary alignments that may play a role and I thought I'd show this. It appears that January 5 and 6 will be the most dangerous dates and as we can see we have two significant planetary alignments that could play a significant role. Now we're looking at Google Earth and the most dangerous coronal holes that I feel are around about 28 to 29 degrees north latitude and the main reason is that there are some areas on the planet that are quite sensitive to some very large earthquakes and volcanic eruptions and this is the most dangerous area which is up near the Canary Islands the La Palma volcano is the most uh, concerning of them all and this also seems to perhaps be at risk with this um, initial earthquake. The area in the Pacific with the Benin Islands is also at risk although it sits slightly lower at 27 to 28 degrees there is a strong possibility that we may be receiving another large earthquake in this region and also the Ryukyu Islands which probably fits slightly better as it sits slightly higher may be also at risk. So this will be my main three areas for the watch for the initial coronal hole. There is also a smaller risk in the Gulf of California but I would believe that the Benin Islands would be perhaps the most favoured um, outcome of this as we've already had some significant effects and it appears that we may be um, receiving some foreshocks um, just looking at the latest USGS information. Okay, I'm going to be concentrating on the second coronal hole and what I feel is the most dangerous and more powerful. We can see a very large feature on the solar corona and it does look quite dangerous to me and there may be several smaller events, in other words maybe two or three six plus magnitude events or a large 7.2 in this region. Now with the 174 angstrom we see a slightly different image and we get to see sort of like an island sort of feel towards this and this to, this to me does feel like it is Taiwan and although the 
the region around does seem to be um, a little bit less pronounced. Um, we do have a, a very interesting little um, feel towards this. And this is the Taiwan region. And I did mention this in my last video. I did expect some earthquakes in and around the northern hemisphere, around about um, the base of Taiwan leading up to the middle. And we didn't get anything much in this region, just a lot of four point somethings around regions that had never had quakes before. I am quite concerned about this area and the, there is a potential of a 7.2 earthquake um, at least in this region so um, yeah, I would be quite concerned uh, for Taiwan for this watch period. The base of the Gulf of California may be in play again also and that is a concern. Um, we did get a, a fairly large earthquake um, not too long ago and it appears that the around the Tropic of Cancer may be the target zone for this second earthquake but it does appear that it may be land based and my final area would be in the China region in Yunnan China and extending out towards Myanmar China border so that would be my earthquake watch for January 5, 6 and 7 it appears that we may be receiving one or two earthquakes perhaps of similar magnitude than what was recorded on January 1 and 2 so it appears to be a very dangerous time as far as earthquakes are concerned And there is one last area that I will mention. Um, we did get some significant earthquakes in Benin Islands uh, last month. And we do have uh, a geological feature here. Um, this is about 5,000 meters deep. And there's a lot of weight going on the ocean floor that perhaps created the extra forces needed for this large earthquake. Now, it sort of it rises up to about 2,000 meters and then it drops again. And I feel that we may be receiving something on this side of the trench. So that would be the Volcano Island. So that would be my last area of watch. And that's my earthquake watch. Thanks for watching.